Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, before you go out and buy yourself a used Apple Silicon Mac, watch this video. Otherwise, well, you're probably going to get ripped off and that's your bad. But I'm here to help. Anyways, I'm only going to touch on a couple of Macs because this is not going to be short, okay? Now, the M1 MacBook Air, that little baby, that's the base model. It used to sell for $1,300. Until a few days back, Apple says, huh, we're going to sneak in two M3s under the radar that are MacBook Airs, and we're going to ditch the 15-inch M2 completely out of the picture, and we're going to offer our bottom-of-the-barrel 13-inch Air now for $1,300. So they've taken the M1s, now they're in the refurbished store at $989. Now that comes with a brand new warranty, and of course the option to get Apple Care Plus, $989 now, instead of 1300 and you might actually score and it might be actually one of the brand new ones from old stock bonus all right now for the last two years going this m1 air has been selling on the private market of marketplace and of course in pawn shops between six and seven hundred dollars in fact even mine was priced at a pawn shop for 700 and it's only a few months old it's still got an apple care warranty on it until May of 2024, this year. So, hey, I scored brand new, even got the box with it. The thing has, I don't even think it even has any real use because it didn't have that many cycles on the battery and it's 100%, so it's like, sweet, okay? Now, I actually did a trade deal and it cost me two grand worth of my DSLR equipment to do an even swap, okay? So, but I did benefit, okay? I don't need that gear anymore. I'd rather just use my iPad Pro M2 and my uh, iPhone to do videos with. It's just less hassle, more convenient, and I actually don't have to fuss with a lot of stuff. So that works. Anyhow, so being that these only sell for an average of six to seven hundred dollars, even in the last two years straight on the used market, what's that going to tell you? Well, Apple's been charging way too much at a thousand and ninety nine used, but that's okay because that doesn't happen anymore. Apple now charges $9.89. Now, this is Canadian dollars. Keep this in mind, okay? Now, the M2, which was $14.49 until a few, few days ago, is now selling for the new price of low $1,300. They've dropped the price. Fantastic. And more fantastic, they finally got rid of the M1 Air. Why they waited this long, we don't know. But now, we're waiting forever for that M2 to go, and they got rid of the 15-inch completely other than in the refurbished store so <clears throat> but now for the used m2 base model okay which is actually literally a much better machine honestly okay than the m1 but still hey take your battles it's a thousand and ninety nine dollars so hmm all right so a few days ago i emailed a guy that wanted twelve hundred dollars for an m1 macbook air I'm like, dude, no, it's only worth six to seven hundred average, even at pawn shops for two years now. And I said, by the way, Apple now sells that thing in the refurbished store because used is used, but refurbished is far beyond. Brand new warranty, Apple Care Plus, more benefits here, guy, for less than a thousand dollars. I said, don't believe me, go to the website, check for yourself. You're asking way too much. That's a ripoff price. Sorry to tell you, okay? I says that the M2s are now selling for this much, etc. Well, didn't he get really freaking pissed at me? To the point where he ended up in the last portion of our conversation, um, he blocked me on his Facebook, which I kind of figured he would anyways because the truth does kind of hurt. And yeah, I guess he figured he was dealing with somebody who knows Apple equipment apparently and he doesn't seem to realize that he doesn't know it all that well, apparently, or he would have priced things properly to begin with. Now, unre it's not unreasonable that if it's in absolute cherry condition, even if it doesn't have a warranty left on it, but if it's in absolute cherry condition, battery and all, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to get eight at the very most, okay? But then again, for only another $189, yeah, you're going to pay taxes, but you're going to get a refurbished a brand new one with a full one-year warranty and option for Apple Care Plus.
which you can renew every three years until this little turd turns 10 years of age. And that's the same with any Mac, okay? So, six to seven, that's the main average. Eight is not completely ludicrous, but it's borderline in it. So this morning I got up at 5 a.m. I don't know why, because the other day I was like, thank you, God, you answered my prayer, you let me have some real sleep. And then last night, not so much. So, um, I've been working on this video since 5 a.m. and it's almost 9, so yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to keep it short. So, there's a guy in the marketplace this morning, 5 a.m. I had to hit that stupid button. I saw M2 bin base model, M2 Air, $1,400. I'm only selling this because I hate laptops and I'm going to give you 100 bucks off. I'll be nice because I did open it, right? This, the gist of things. And so I blew up his phone on him at 5 a.m. He's probably looking like, freak this crap, <laughs> back to sleep. Anyways, so he'll figure it out. Now, I'm sure I'll get a nasty message from him too. But I did tell him, I said, look, you're way out, man. These things are now, in case you haven't been tracking Apple in the last couple of days, Apple just came out with M3s, okay? And the new Bind M3 is 1449. Your laptop was $1,449, now sells for $1,300 new, and now sells in the refurbished or refurbished to brand new condition with a brand new warranty and Apple Care Plus available, which by the way, you only get about 60 days to get an Apple Care Plus warranty on, and then you're kind of screwed, right? So we don't even know how long he's actually had it for. I mean, I've seen people where they're like, I've had this thing sitting in my thing for like six months. I haven't even taken the wrapper off. Well, guess what? Six months of that warranty is gone because it's not from when you sign in. It's from the actual purchase date. Even if you buy at Best Buy or the source, Apple is automatically flagged on their system. Somebody bought one from the source. Somebody bought one from Best Buy. And your warranty starts right then and there. You're not even home with it yet. Your warranty has started, okay? So that's how Apple works. It's not by when you sign into the damn thing, okay? Anyways. So I said, look, it only sells for $1,100, like literally on the refurbished side at Apple, which means you're sitting at somewhere between, you know, eight to $900 at the very most nine, because literally for 200 bucks more, even I would just go to Apple and get a refurbished one because I trust Apple 100% that they did the job right. And if for some reason they missed something, they'll come good for it. You know what? You buy something used on Marketplace, you get what you get. And there ain't no refunds, baby. Okay? All you do is get pissed mad that you got screwed because your F key doesn't work or something, right? And you didn't know that because you also were stupid and you didn't check out the computer thoroughly enough. Which is what I want to educate you on next. Okay? So, I think we've covered all the Apple Silicons at this point. Use your judgment wisely. And always check with Apple's refurbished store. Now, let me get into this little puppy. Now, you want to check the screen. Make sure there's no scratches. There's no dents anywhere on any of the um, body of the computer. Make sure that, you know, there's no cracks, no nothing, okay? No damage at all. Okay, now, if you can find something that's absolute perfect and pristine, okay, and every single key works, which you can test with Notepad, you can test all the keys. You can go up into the system profile program on a laptop, especially because it has a battery and you have to know your battery condition. So you're going to find power and you're going to check for the battery information here. And it's going to tell me that I have 31 cycles on my battery. It's going to say condition is normal. It's going to say maximum capacity is 100%. How much of that you can see? I don't know. But that's exactly what it says. Now, I also know every single key works on this. The fingerprint ID thing works perfect as well. The whole enchilada, you need to thoroughly inspect before you give some guy money at his door. The other thing you gotta make sure of too is that not only did he sign out of the computer, but also removed it from his Apple account. Otherwise, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt trying to reload this thing and you may just get locked out of it, okay? That is scary buying used Mac systems ever since the T2 chips. 
it's even worse with Apple Silicon. Apple security is so bloody freaking tight and stupid that they won't help you out if you get locked out unless you are the actual owner of that computer and you can prove it to them on the phone, you answer the, the, the security questions right, then they'll help you. But if you buy somebody else piece of piece of garbage and they didn't sign out because a lot of people don't, you're like, I can't reload this. I'm locked out. Now you're now you're locked out of the whole damn system. Now you got to try and figure out how to get a hold of that person again. And if you didn't have their phone number and their ad is gone, now you're really screwed. Now you got to remember where the hell they lived, okay? And then you're gonna have to go back to them and say, look, you need to fix this, okay? This is what happened because you didn't sign out. I needed to reload it, get all your crap off of here that you didn't do. I need you to reset this thing back up and then sign out and remove it from your account because Apple will not help otherwise. Just so that you're aware, guys, that's the way it works. Apple will not help, okay? They will help the original owner. Now, if somebody dies and you buy it from an estate, you have to give them proof of the death certificate of that person so they can track that actual owner. If it turns out that that's not the actual owner and somebody else bought it for them instead, even though it was grandma's laptop, guess what? Now you got to find out who the hell did that and then go to them because it's only to the original purchaser, which is a real pain in the ass. Okay. And then of course you have to have proof of purchase. Otherwise, if you're not dealing with dead people computers, okay, and you're not going to have the original proof of purchase unless somebody gives it to you. Okay. And proof of purchase is not, I sold this to Tom Hankel for this amount. That is not a proof of purchase. Proof of purchase is from Radio Shack, Best Buy, direct from Apple, a actual place that sells Apple computers and are Apple authorized to sell them. That is proof of purchase to Apple. Okay. So you got to be very careful on the used market and check this junk out thoroughly, or you could find yourselves screwed. Worse than that though, watch the pricing check apple's refurbished store check their new prices all the time too because they're about to come out with m4s this year which means that m2 right now in 2025 it's going to go bye bye as soon as they bring out an m4 air okay then the m3 airs they're going to ditch the 15 and then they're going to take that 13 that's now jacked up at 1449 they're going to make that the new 1300 dollar computer in sometime in 2025 Okay, so be prepped, all right, and watch what you pay for used gear, especially private deals. You don't pay Apple's price for something off of Marketplace or eBay or Craigslist. You pay far less because you're getting far less too dealing private. And remember, on laptops, you really got to check that battery out. That is a big thing along everything else. Hope this helped. When it comes to Intel stuff, though, stuff's worthless. It's kind of, uh, at this point with Intel Max, it's get as much as you can without being a dink. Because even when it comes to the iMac 2019 4K Retina, got it on my channel, Apple Evaluator, 150 Best Buy and Costco still selling that thing as a refurbished unit. It wasn't refurbished by Apple, by the way. Okay, they still want over a grand. Rip off! considering what you can buy from Apple right now for that or less, okay? And this little puppy here, in case you're not aware, almost completely annihilated and toasted the living crap out of a $15,000 Mac Pro Intel tower. That's the kind of horsepower that this has these days compared to its counterpart Intel ones, which all suck donk, okay? They are horrible, okay? This thing is actually a pleasure in comparison. And that's what it did to a $15,000 Mac Pro Tower. And the YouTube videos are up there to prove it. I was like amazed at what this little thing did as a base model against that terrifying machine. I was like, oh man, now you got to be worried. Anyways, so there you go. Hope this helped. Comments below. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. If you like the video, thumbs up, please. It really does help me out. And if you didn't like it, well, you can thumbs down it too. Um, it's up to you, but, uh, I'm just here to try and help you guys the very best I can with everything I do on this channel. So on that note, thanks and see ya.